Hey everybody, welcome to Top Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to pair your Garden Vision device with the Garden Vision app on a Apple device. We're going to open up the App Store. Open up the App Store, and we're going to go ahead and type in. Oh, sorry, some of you may may be launched into this screen. So, first thing is we're going to go to the App Store, and we're going to go to the search section on the bottom right, and we're going to type in Garden Vision. As you can see on mine, it pre-populates as the first option. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Now the first app that I see is this green house. And yes, it is a weird Chinese name. However, if you're using Garden Vision, you're probably using HIK uh, Hikvision uh, DVR or something along the lines of that. Um, there are a couple other apps to utilize to to do this but we're going to use garden vision all right so first thing is you want to download garden vision uh your your device might say get so you just hit get i'm going to go ahead and hit this button here because i downloaded it already i'm going to hit download here let this download Okay, now that I have the Garden Vision downloaded, I'm going to go ahead and open the app. Okay, it's going to ask if it wants to use your location. I'm going to hit allow while using app, allow it to send me notifications, and I agree to the prompt. Okay, that it's United States. Okay. And we're going to log in and register. And then we will choose register. You're going to go ahead and register for a new account under Garden Vision. So hit agree. Once again, it's going to ask you for your location. Hit the check box in the upper right hand corner. And here you can register with your email address or your phone number. In this scenario, we're going to be using the phone number because it is a lot easier. Once you enter the phone number, you're going to go ahead and enter your password. Then you've once you've entered your phone number and your password that you'd like, go ahead and choose get security code. At this point, it's going to ask you if you're not a robot pretty much, and that's the captcha. Let's go ahead and enter that correctly. Hit the check at the top, and now you should get your security code. Here's a ding. Check your other device that you're receiving your text messages on for this security code. Now that I have my security code, I'm going to type it in. Keep only while using. Sometimes the app may crash. Just close, just reopen it, and it should automatically log you in. Now that we're within the app, we have our account. We've done great. We're almost there. We're going to hit the plus button, and this is going to be adding our first device in the upper right hand corner.
Once you hit the plus device, it's going to ask you a few options. First option is scan QR code. You're going to want to hit that one. Of course, there are a few other options, but in this scenario, we're using the QR code. Hit QR code, then it's going to ask you, one device can only be added one to one account. You can share device to others. You can allow access to your camera so that it can scan the QR codes sent to you in your instructions. I'm going to scan the first QR code. Okay, now you'll be prompted with the part of the screen where it's gonna, in this scenario, it's asking to apply for sharing. And that's because this device is already set up and there's an administrator. Now, because there's an administrator, this device, this user is gonna apply for sharing and then the administrator is going to receive the request on their end and they will approve it. At this point, you should allow the administrator at least up to 24 hours to respond to your request. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and hit apply for sharing. And it says your application has been sent. Like I said, allow 24 hours for your administrator to approve your request. While you wait, you can go ahead and add any other devices that you need. This is where I will scan the second code for our second gate in this scenario. I've got it scanned. The QR code works so fast, it literally scans it and reads it within one second. And now I'm applying for sharing on the second device. Okay, now on the administrator side, I'm just approving the request. I select the cameras that I'd like to share with the user. Um, and then I hit accept. And I will do the second one. Select all, finish, accept. Okay, now that the administrator has accepted the request, you should be able to either close your app, reopen it, or just simply tap refresh. And now you should see two devices within your application now. First thing you want to do is tap on one, and it's going to ask you to enter the device verification code. And this is where you will enter your device verification code based off of your instructions provided. Okay, I'm going to enter the verification code and wait for the device to load. Now I'll tap on the second device and enter that device code. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content just like this. Thank you.